Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, we got another update on Dungeons and Dragons and WotC and Hasbro. It looks like D&D uh, &D is not selling as well as it used to. Shocker. Uh, imagine that. Uh, yeah, apparently Dungeons and Dragons dropped 30%. 30%. I can't imagine why. But it was still topping the sales charts. Well, that just tells me that tabletop in general is going down. Yeah, I think so. Well, I think there are a lot of other options out there. And the thing about tabletop, too, you got to realize is, you know, when you have those source books, you know, they're they're good forever. There are people well, still playing. One and done kind of thing. Yeah. One and done. Yeah. People are making up their own adventures and stuff. I mean, you can still play first edition AD&D, second edition AD&D. Actually, I would recommend it versus 5E, but that's a whole nother thing. So, yeah, they're uh, declining right now. Now, you have to realize that part of the decline is due to the fact that a lot of people started playing games during the pandemic because what else are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Same thing with comic books. You know, it was just like everybody was kind of stuck in their house and they were playing all this stuff. But um, I don't think it looks good long term for the uh, the paper and pen edition of d and I mean, it seems very clear that Wizards is interested in being a video game company. They had all this damage control. We did multiple videos about that. But we're going to we're going to talk about this because, uh, yeah, the books are on on sale. Buy two, get I was one say, free. Yeah, I saw this today. They're trying. And this isn't the first time we've seen them do this, these sales before. Yeah, um, I mean, they're way overpriced to begin with. I mean, one source book is like 60 bucks now, but yeah, so so we'll talk about this. Hurry, hurry, hurry down to the um, down to the Watsy garage sale. <laughs> so before you get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. You'll get woohoo if you do. Woo uh, this is coming from Bell of Lost Souls.net, and uh, they got from ICV2. But um, they said, yeah, 2023 was a rough year for RPGs. D&D was still at the top. It was down 30%. Um, they said the report highlights the decline in the growth compared to the circumstantial high of 2020 through 2022. But the idea that some growth can be temporary continues to be a lesson that industries never actually learn, leading to this cycle of bubble and burst. Infinite growth isn't actually achievable or sustainable. It's something we all have to strive for. But yeah, I mean, this happened in comics too. And it is happening again in comics where there are these bubbles and people mm -hmm. think that it's going to last forever. I'm sure there are some companies out there that would love for you to still be stuck in your house. So you'd buy their stuff, watch I'm their sure ads, you know? Well, you know, we got the, the bird stuff. So the bird, the bird stuff's coming. Yeah, there you go. Hasbro. There is another opportunity and, and what, what, what we call bird flu and the possibility of another pandemic may wind up being the golden goose for you. So, uh, there we go. Yeah. They said the, uh, increase matters because the costs are on the rise and there's rampant greedflation and corporations are going to be corporations no matter what industry you're in. It's almost like we've said the similar I things know. and people got so mad at us. Remember, I remember four or five years ago when I said, Watsy is not your friend. Uh, Watsy is a greedy corporation and they're going to tell you things you want to hear or that a certain group on Twitter wants to hear thinking it's going to sell more games, uh, but they're actually not good people. Oh no, they're, they're our best friends. Watsy loves its players. Watsy, blah, 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 blah. yeah, okay. Watsy sent the Pinkertons to a guy's house for opening cards. They tried, to, they tried to do the OGL thing. Tried to steal your shit. Uh, they're price gouging repeatedly on Magic and D&D. &D. They're using AI art now in the source books and in the cards. And they fired a bunch of people. Oh, and they buried a bunch of stuff in landfills. Oh, yeah, they, they buried it. Land too much. They didn't want to give it to people for cheap, so they buried it. Yeah, so basically kind of flatlining. I mean, it's not like the biggest doom and gloom ever, but it's there is no infinite growth for tabletop. And I think the scene is actually chasing people. I do. Out. I think it's very toxic. In fact, there's a whole uh, conversation happening right now with Warhammer. They're going back and they're retconning uh, one of the factions in Warhammer to have female soldiers or Marines or something in it, because it was, it was a huge issue because like the Kotaku's of the world and the Twitter people didn't like that. There weren't women in this group. So now they got to go back and retcon it. And people are all pissed. And if you don't like it, you're a bigot. And the massage. Well, if there are any groups that are all female, you better put men in that. You better, yeah, right. How come? How come? This I'm just putting it out there. How come girls can join Boy Scouts, but boys can't join Girl Scouts? Well, I know. Yeah, 
I'm just saying because did they open up? Boy, I thought they opened up. If only they had they had a group for boys and a group for girls. I know, but but no, I I think that I. I could be wrong, but I think Boy Scouts is open to everybody now because there's some lawsuit or something. But but Girl Scouts is still just well. Then they need like a they girls. them Scouts, the them Scouts, them Scouts, um, and that would solve all the problems. Yeah. So they said they're talking about player uh, behavior shifting, and um, the new version of D and D is not a truly new version. It's like a five point five, and they're not sure how it's going to do. Because it's not that big of a difference and the sales are declining and a lot of people are going to other gaming systems. But the problem is it's fragmented. You used to have like everybody playing D&D and then you'd have, you know, the Warhammer group or whatever. But now that everybody is like bailing from D&D, they're going in a hundred different directions. It's not like they're all just like jumping uniformly to one system like Pathfinder. They're all like, oh, there's this system and that system and this system and that system. Um but yeah, it's it's interesting. But I, you sent this over today that the books are buy two get one free. Mm-hmm. That's not a good. That's not a good sign. Uh, how much do they want for the player's handbook now? It was like sixty bucks, I thought. Okay, it's thirty. Number one bestseller in Dungeons and Dragons. Eight eighty eight. It was fifty, and it's and it's part of the buy one get one free or buy two get one free. I think so. That's you sent me a link to it. Yeah, uh, it's on it's on here. Yeah. Um, said so you can shop the entire sale here on Amazon. Simply search for Dungeons in the sale and you'll find the books. You can mix and match any D&D book with any other book, board game, Blu-ray from the sale to earn your discount. We've also highlighted, of course, they want to do this on comic book because they get, they get uh, revenue for that, right? But like, it's just crazy. So is this it? They have it here? Oh, it oh, ended. ended. It ended. Okay, well, they were doing it a couple days ago. During a recent panel... Uh, they're talking about all the new stuff. So they're probably trying to clear out. They're probably trying to clear but, out all the, but they're, but okay. So the sale price is probably after the buy two, get one free. So now yeah. they're just on sale. Yeah. They're still on sale. So they're they're always all on, sale. on sale. They're probably all on sale. Look and see, they probably have all like a reduced price. Um, yeah, that was 50 bucks. Now it's 30. I think Amazon historically, they've always been cheaper, but it's like the fact that they want $60 for a book. Here's 26, 50. Oh, Strixhaven. That's the one with the prom. Oh, is it? It's half price. Wonder why. Can't imagine why. I'm sure they're selling lots and lots of that. This is the one, uh, Tasha's Cauldron. I think that's the one where they took race out of the equation. That one's, uh, it's still 34. That's still like, no, that's not even full price. None of the books are full price. So I think it was, you probably paid full price and got to get one free or yeah. the sale. It's probably the same thing. It's, it's probably, probably the same thing. same thing. Half price. Like, I mean, that's the thing too. Like this is going to kill hobby shops because, you can go to Amazon. And you got Amazon price. buys stuff so much cheaper. You know, I mean, why would I paid more than that per book to put in the store? Yes. I don't think people realize, like, I think part of what's killing game stores, is not just the, the games themselves, but it's the fact that, um, and it might go off on a little bit of a side tangent for a minute or two here, but, uh, we may or may not be familiar with the retail side of things. And there are some distributors out there that basically charge you what you would pay at Amazon, for inventory and then you have to mark it up to you know once well, they charge you t- ridiculous shipping prices rid- too ridiculous so shipping prices more than what you'd pay going to a store to buy it so why do a lot of comic shops and game shops go out of business well the reason they do is because they can't afford to price the merchandise accordingly and a lot of the stuff that they're saddled with because you can't return it uh, just doesn't sell it just sits there and then they have to liquidate it and they actually lose money you know, so that's that's a big part of it. But yeah, I just it, what this is telling me is the demand isn't super high because you don't usually see these kind of discounts on other kinds of books, you know, half price. You know, they're all like freaking like every one I've clicked on, fifty bucks down to thirty two. That's still insane for a source book. That's crazy. Well, they're hardcover, aren't they? They're hard. Yeah, I know, but we don't. I mean, God, we're a small publisher and we don't charge that much. We don't that's charge true. fifty bucks for a hardcover. How many pages are they? Uh, probably a couple hundred pages. Go down. 290, 300, so 256. So they're yeah. not, like, not like small. No, so they're not to small. To me, that, that, that's not a bad deal. $37 is not a bad deal to me. No, I mean, yeah. So anyway, anyway, there we go, guys. D&D declining. Of course it is. Uh, I think this is why they are trying so hard to pivot into digital. Because they, they realize that, like, tabletop has kind of peaked at least for D and D. Um, and I don't think it's ever going to go back to the levels it was during, 
during the pandemic, unless we have, again, another thing come up that keeps everyone in their houses, which hopefully we don't. We're going to wrap this up. Mm -hmm. Let's wrap this up. Please subscribe. We'll talk later. Bye.